Hey guys, so welcome back to another WordPress tutorial. This is Joseph from JoseMaster.com and in this tutorial we're going to be working on the grid system in the front page. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so the grid system in our front page consists of latest posts and a few widgets. So Let's hop over into our code. Let's go into our front page because this is where we're going to be editing the HTML. Let's make a new div called Featured. And we're going to be creating our very own grid system using CSS. So inside Featured, we're going to make three classes called Col13. Now this stands for Column One Third. So this div here will be one third of the page and let's copy that three times and let's open that up so inside each of these we're going I'm going I'm using multi select which is sublime text new feature and that's why I really highly suggest you to use sublime text and inside the columns we're going to use another div called feature like so and inside of each of these features, instead of hard coded in, uh, hard coding it, like writing lorem and stuff like that, we're gonna let the user uh, input the text. So we're gonna use a widget. Let's go PHP, and we're gonna use a we're gonna register three sidebars, dynamic sidebar, and we'll call this one home widget one, and we'll copy that for each of the features changing the numbers so that's the HTML done and let's register these sidebars so let's hop over to our functions.php and let's grab the sidebar let's copy that three times you'll see what I'm going to do with it in the future oh, wait let's just use one first and I ID I'm gonna call it One home widget one and name home widget one and home widgets and that's good. Then we'll copy that. We'll name this register home widget one. <clears throat> copy all that there. And I'll change all these ones. Once again I'm using multi select to two. It's very useful, so I recommend all of you guys to get Sublime Text. Okay. And, yeah, so now we've got three registered sidebars. Now, I want to show you what, why I'm doing this. Let's save it. Let's go into our code here. I mean, our website. Let's go into our dashboard. Let's go into our widgets. And now we have three sidebars. And I've already inserted a text widget here from off stage, off camera. Basically, all you got to do is just gra grab the text thing right there. And you can just type in anything. Right? I'll put some lorem text in here. And now we've got one widget in each of them. And let's hop over to our website. And now you can see they appear, each of them. And we want to put it in like a grid, sort of like in three in a lot in a row. Let's do that now with some styles. So let's hop over to our styles.css and make a new section called grid. So now we want each of the grid boxes or the features to align to be in one row. So we're going to use uh, this little um, code. And what this does, let me see, call dot, what this does, it, it takes all the classes with the prefix of call, minus. So, we can style these, and we can just go float left. That's all we need. Um, now, because we are floating, once again, we need to go into our front page, and make sure we have a clear fix. 
so in our grid after this we're gonna make some widths and these include one third so in here we go width and we know that uh, 100 divided by 3 is 33.3 .3. that equals one third of the page let's just get 33.3 percent and one two the half obviously it's 50 percent okay so that's the widths and now let's style the features so the home widgets widgets let's go here dot feature and let's give it a style of color white want some padding around the edges 20 pixels would be good text align center oh by the way you guys can change this if you like depending on your preference margin top 20 pixels and a background of the same as our body background and refresh the page so you can see here we have our widgets here and it looks pretty good I'm pretty happy with that but let's add some maybe some padding here and get rid of the um, what do you call it the make it like some sort of spacing in between each widget now however if we add padding on the edges it'll I'll show what happens it'll fall down because it's not gonna fit 100% so let's add a style called um, border sizing it's going to the very top and we are going to add an element to everything here called border sizing border box and what this does is despite the width that is I mean despite the so when you set a width it will stay that width no matter what happens despite paddings or borders so that's very useful and I like adding that to everything let's go all the way all the way back down to the grid system and in featured so not that yeah uh here in every single column i actually want like spacing or people call it gutters so we'll go padding right and we'll give it 20 pixels now you save that and if you refresh the page there you go you can see you have spacing so that's the featured done oh wait there's one more thing you can see there's a little bit of padding there and let's, we can fix that easily and all we're gonna do is we're gonna get this column copy that down here and we use the pseudo element last of type and I go padding right zero and there you can see that there is no more padding cool so Thanks for watching guys, in the next tutorial we're going to add a sidebar here as well as a blog grid right here. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.